Wolf, whatever, how did you enter into this world of, of healthy uh, building materials, and especially with the uh, pigments? Well, at a certain point in my life, I was at the turning point. You know, in my earlier life, I, I drove, I, I sold machinery for building sites. Uh, from from small machinery up to very large building cranes for uh, 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 we were specialized in vibrating techniques for uh, cement concrete stuff like that and then there came a crisis in the building and a crisis in myself I changed my two first children were allergic allergic for uh, um, the more animal uh, stuff like milk and, and, and a number of meat kinds and stuff like that. So we changed more to uh, sustainability. It was a time, uh, small is beautiful. Maybe you remember this book. Uh, and we, we tried to, 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 to change our life into that direction. And then because I through my father's side, I have a connection with building. He was an engineer uh, with, with building and, and te techniques and technology and, and modern things. Uh, on the other hand, my grandfather on, on mother's side was a, a artist painter. So we lived in the same house. So uh, turpentine colors, mixing colors and uh, that, 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 that's part of my youth, you know. So I connected the two, and then at the crisis moment of my life, and what should I do instead of uh, uh, my poor me, I thought, no, no, let's, let's do something. <laughs> and I started with the natural paints to finish the buildings which uh, gave off uh, uh, toxic uh, stuff. So when when we see our, we have our first uh, skin. We have to be careful with this. Use natural products, otherwise you get you get eczema. You, you, you risk problems. But the second skin, our clothes, are important too. They should breathe. But we have the same with our house. Our house is our a third skin if, 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 if you want to. So this should be healthy and natural and breathable too. So if you have the, the last layer is the most important because that's the one you will finally have contact with. with. So I started with natural paints so that people in, 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 in fucked up houses uh, would be able to have a solution uh, to, to stop those toxic uh, emissions. And in fact, we, we have had a problem, uh, two cases, two houses, where uh, the, uh, the man had died of cancer. And it has been proven that uh, the cancer uh, was generated by the toxic emissions of synthetic paints. Both the women uh, tried to sue the companies delivering this, but they are too big to you it, it's it, it's too complicated mm. to win from them they are too big too large have lawyers yeah. so what did we do the, the both the houses were officially declared unhabitable now imagine you become widow you have children you build a, a wonderful house with your husband and now you're, you're forbidden to live in your own house. I mean, that's a problem. It wasn't a wonderful house, though, because it, it admitted it, 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 poisons. No, it, it was a dramatic house. But now I delivered n natural paints and on my instructions, the whole houses have been treated with those natural paints. And then from the University of Antwerp, the uh, Department of uh, Toxicology, I don't remember the, the name of the professor anymore, but they came afterwards to measure the, uh, the, um, the radiation of toxic products 
it was fallen back to uh, I don't remember exactly something. And you said measure the radiation of the toxic products that that the well, toxic the emissions, the emissions, the emissions of, the of the okay yes. Uh, also, it's not only emission, but you also have a kind of radiation in the sense that plastics Indeed. get a, a electrostatic um, a charging. So this this can cause uh, toxic products to, to, to be put on. It, it's complicated. Anyway. But anyway, anyway, afterwards, uh, the same people from the same university came to measure the air quality and something like 99 or 98 percent of the dangerous emissions have, dis have disappeared. Once you removed the paint that was on the walls. No, no, they were, they were, it was not removed, it was just painted over. Oh. So covered by natural paint. So the natural paints stopped the emissions. Wonderful. And those Families, those widows, could were allowed to live again in their uh, original house. So that just confirmed your research and the knowledge that you had um, yes, acquired the over time. That I have. Mm -hmm. I also studied uh, mathematics, stuff like that. So I'm, I'm not only uh, used to think in in a more f philosophical uh, way, but also very very specific and very correct and very, uh, according to the numbers and and, 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 and and physics and stuff like that. And That's I, wonderful. It's wonderful to, to mm -hmm. combine this and then... And to be so helpful and yeah. to offer a solution, a Offering wonderful, solution. healthy solution. Yeah. And then it was logic that I didn't stop with, with, with the final layer, but very slowly I went deeper and deeper into the wall and that's yeah. how you became so an, renders, an imp. You have renders, uh. and then you have the, the the wall itself, and then, for instance, the, the hemp. Yes, we that, have built here that you built M3, yesterday. Mm -hmm. Hundred percent of vegetable concrete, yeah. uh, which contains such a large amount of plant material that building with this system becomes carbon negative <laughs> instead of producing CO two and mm -hmm. reed read between the lines potentially you they could uh, force you to pay co2 tax for that so instead of producing co2 you have captured it and you will keep it as long as the house exists at least so probably 150 200 250 years easily it's wonderful so you you should get mm -hmm. you should get paid extra in order to well, the farmers to paid for growing the hemp that's where the money should be going to and yes yeah. yes and this is a way Very where we can so. save trees and and, and complete forests yeah. incredible yeah. I've, uh, and uh, my research has showed me in talking to people that it sequesters um, a lot more carbon the hemp plant does and quicker than trees we do need trees because but we, we can leave it if we uh, switch our industries mm -hmm. to hemp, exactly as, as you suggest, mm -hmm. we can leave the trees being trees mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and uh, we can concentrate on products made of a fast growing hemp because that's the reason in about 90 days, let's say around, around three months, three to four months, depending you can, on where you can harvest the hemp, mm -hmm. which is an incredibly short time. And mm -hmm. this is where you you made the the, the, the largest gain of uh, uh, sequestering the CO two, of course. Yes, and because the growing all plant and the material is, is, is carbon. Yeah, it's great. Thank yeah. you. Okay, all right. Well, let's see about continuing here. The paint's been resting for yeah. at least half an hour. For half an hour, three quarters of an hour. The process of uh, between the casein and the lime is uh, is going on, but we use natural pigments, which are uh, oxides. I chose a, uh, a natural sienna, which is 
a yellow color, but not as yellow as ochre. ochre. Uh, there are brownish and, and some reddish uh, particles inside, which makes it into a sandy, uh, warm uh, color, which was has become so famous that we call it uh, Terra di Siena. From Siena, Italy. From Siena, Italy. Italy. I remember seeing this color often when I was in Siena. Yeah. Lovely. This is the wall we did a couple of hours ago with a brush on type of uh, natural uh, lime render and a fresco we will paint it so you could come up with the idea but why why didn't didn't you mix the the color into the render then you don't have to to paint it yes one could do that but then you forget that this has also a function. If we use this type of render, uh, heavy, the wall will be protected against heavy rain showers, but there will be an amount of humidity entering anyway because it is a natural breath roll thing. Now, this paint finishes the pores, so the heavy rain cannot enter. When you say finishes <clears throat> the pores, you, you mean it helps? The, the micropore structure. Micropore structure. Yeah, because it has a certain porosity, mm -hmm. this, so the porosity will be much less. It'll still moisture and still breathable of breathable, course yeah yeah right, yeah, 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 yeah okay uh, you are faster than than my explanation um, this layer what will happen now after it is dry of course and it gets a heavy rain shower then the rain will form a film of water on the surface which will evacuate the uh, the water much faster than without the paint. Hmm. Okay. Plus, there is more, even much more than that. Uh, we paint this a fresco, the, the render is still fresh. So we got a very, very special, incredible strong connection between the two layers. And the two layers, they is it absorbing it a bit more then, since it's El Fresco? Will, thanks to the lime paint, those two layers will now start a pumping effect, meaning that if you have moisture, damp inside the wall, it will, uh, in a fast way, be pumped out. So this is a system which can be a good solution for walls with a moisture problem. So like, it's a natural chemical reaction, basically. Yes, wow, when you said it's, it's, it's a kind it of out. Venturi reaction. Mm. The moisture is sucked up by the uh, superfine uh, pore structure of the lime paint. And when the lime paint sucks sucks up the, uh, the moisture from the uh, surface, it can only give it to the air, of course. It goes always from a higher resistance to a lower resistance. And because it passes the, the thin layer of um, render, this dry pumping system will be accelerated. This is the way that our ancestors uh, kept their walls dry. And if you do the mix the uh, pigment 
in uh, in the render you would never impossibly have the same physical reactions. The underlying wall was dry, but if you have a really fresh, wet, uh, uh, damp containing uh, wall underneath, uh, I have seen, I've had it, uh, I've seen it happen that it, in many cases the water is pumped out in such a heavy way that it starts to mm. pearl mm. out and in drops starts to... Uh, mm. to uh, All that work is hurt then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so it's best to learn how to do it properly the first time. And I did not invent this Calais system. Uh, mm. it, it was common practice in the time when people did not insulate or barely insulate the houses and often had uh, um, uh, moisture problems. Mm -hmm. They solved it this way so there was no moisture problem. Now, these have become forgotten techniques. So imagine someone who is not familiar with this, with this physical thing going on they would finish with the synthetic paint then the moisture is not pumped out anymore so you get molds and problems oh my gosh. And, and, and damp problems inside an un unhealthy situation inside the house mm. and then they say oh an out house an old house let's break it down and build a new one which would in in many cases not be necessary if you would refinish the original house with the original old time uh, systems. Our oh, an ancestors were wise, you know. They, they, they have had, humanity has had hundreds and thousands of years of building experience and then start learning it, you know, don't worry. But we are now in a uh, in our modern time, we are so used of inventing new systems, we always suppose that what we invented would be better than the old time uh, thing, but hmm, that's not always true. You have to admit that people a few hundred years ago, they were intelligent too. You know. they, 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 they knew what they did. <laughs> Well, I took a small quass uh, uh, brush uh, for a real big surface. I would take a larger, better quass, um, wider, uh, wider uh, brush, so it would be going faster. This is just to, to demonstrate, but it shows that even with a very simple brush, you can can perfectly cover the... Uh, mm -hmm. Plus, another thing, if you are not a real professional, let's say you would have some, some, some little problems here and maybe some cracks because you put a layer a little bit too thick or too thin or whatever. Well, the paint will cover everything. The lime will uh, be sucked up within the small cracks, the mini cracks, we'll fill it up and the whole thing will be repaired. And we